Welcome, welcome everyone to Practitioner Spotlight. And I'm Sharon Karn of Sound Wellness. These days, there's such an incredible need for calm and peace and healing. So this Sound Wellness Practitioner Spotlight showcases the brilliant holistic practitioners who are integrating sound wellness into their practice. These are people that you can call on to support you in creating wholeness in your life. So today, I am so incredibly excited to have you meet Araceli Guerrero. Her, she is a sound wellness practitioner. She's a sixth generation curandera. She's an access consciousness bars practitioner, access facelift, intuitive healer, yoga instructor, and Reiki master. Araceli is powerfully gifted and talented and a very skilled healer. She has a natural aptitude for healing and energy work and also herbalism. And this was guided and nurtured by her grandmother in Nicaragua from age of five. What a, I can hear a wonderful story there, Araceli. Araceli's name means altar of the sky and Guerrero means warrior. So welcome, Araceli. I'm so glad you're here. And we seem to have a bit of a frozen video. So let's just allow everyone, please stay until uh, we get Araceli back online here. She'll be back in a second. Okay. Hi, sorry. It's just like it went, the internet just went away. And you're here. I just finished the introduction, Araceli, and you're back online. So I am, <laughs> hooray, it all worked perfectly. I just uh, had everyone just be patient for a moment while you came back in and it all worked great. So thank you for being here. And I am so fascinated with the sixth generation curandera. Can you tell us about that? Yes, of course. Thank you so much, Sharon, for having me here. And I'm so grateful to share with everyone here my experience. I, well, the sixth generation curandera is, um, is coming from one session is from my grandmother, which is my mother's mother. So it's that maternal where my grandmother learned from her grandparents and great grandparents, all that lineage about healing. So curandera, the word curandera means a healer. And I witnessed so many times when my grandmother healed uh, children that where the doctors gave them the notice that there's nothing they can do for the child. My grandmother, you know, got those kids, the people were coming even in the middle of the night to come and knocking on the door. So there was no such thing back in those time, book an appointment. They just, you know, they just show up at your door. And that's where my grandmother started doing her, I call it magic work, which she uses, um, it, interesting this, uh, she uses her voice. I cannot imitate her. She used her voice like, um, like opera and she used herbs and she used oils and she created her oils. So I learned quite a bit from her. And so the curandera word means healer. That is the what an amazing story, Araceli. So it's it's it almost feels like you have always been a hero, or a healer and a hero, a healer since you were very yes. young. So it yes. uh, was there a time when you refocused your you or or grew or a turning point that helped you shift more into healing, or have you always been a healer? Yes, I'm gonna say my grandmother saw that when I was four years old wow I'm 47 now and so when i used to say things to my mother you know like about someone uh, my mother used to say to me to be quiet you don't know nothing you're too young and then a week later or in just a short time what i said to her it happened so after this happened a couple of times my mother told my grandma and so my grandma took me under her wings and I moved in with her. And my grandma said to my mother, you must listen to Araceli when she speaks to you, right? Because she sees things before it happens 
or things like you know that happened in the past i had dreams and i was sharing with my grandmother even ancestry or friends that i never met i was young but i was describing these people to my grandmother and so when i was four that's when she took me under her wings um, and where I expanded more was when I moved to Canada, that's another story for another day, how my parents, my brother and I landed to Canada. Uh, we had to escape the country where I come from, which is Nicaragua, right besides Costa Rica. And uh, when we came to Canada, legally and everything, um, I'm grateful to this amazing government that, you know, they brought us here and of course we pay back what you know, for our flight and everything. So it wasn't free, but we're grateful to be here. And when my friend got sick and she was translating to me because I came to Canada with zero English, I did some work on my, on my friend doing, um, I'm going to put a label on it, Reiki. And I was just putting my hand on her and doing my thing. And her mother said to me, Araceli, you're doing Reiki. And I said to her, I don't know what that is. And so then, you know, time goes by and then of course I do my thing. And then people said to me, and I was 13 years old when I heard the word Reiki, huh. you know, so I didn't have a, a, a name of what I, what I do, what, you know, what I was doing and what my grandmother taught me. And then, so I became a mother in my late twenties, age 28, I actually finally said, I don't know what the heck is Reiki. I'm just gonna go and take it. And so I talked to people and I was into the industry of uh, wellness already, but uh, it was more a spa. And I spoke to the massage therapist there and she said, oh yeah, I have somebody who teaches Reiki. So I became a Reiki master. Um, but again, till now, I, I don't have a name to what my grandmother taught me, you know, that's, that's you know, so I went and bought, took body talk and other modalities to put more into my uh, toolbox that I don't have a name uh, for, like, again, again, what my grandmother taught me in the gift that sh she saw in me. And I love this sound healing uh, and, you know, your sound wellness is just beautiful. It's add more to my tools. Oh, and thank, thank you for that. And how beautiful. And even if you can't put a name on what your grandmother shared yes. with you, how hope how precious that time with her was that set you on this path, yes. Araceli. And um, yes. I can hardly wait until you pass this on to your granddaughter. Because <laughs> I know I oh. can feel that coming. <laughs> I can feel that coming to keep that kind of tradition going. <laughs> How beautiful. Yes. Just share with me, what, what brought you to Sound Wellness? I would love to hear some of that story. Yes, I just finished saying uh, how my grandmother was healing, you know, infants, you know, people. And she was, she was very good um, doing her thing through her voice. So the best description I can say is opera, right? And my grandmother only had grade five, you know, but everything that had been passed on to her. Um, so what, um, when I met you, I remember it was through, uh, when I had this spa, my holistic center spa, and you did a, a talk through Better Business Bureau, I believe, and so I attended to that. And then, um, you know, then I, the next thing I went was to your chakra healing, chanting, and to me, chant or sing. I was like, no, I get nervous. But I did go. It was in 2006. I believe it was June. Um, it was before Father's Day. So 2006, right now is 2022. Uh, that's over 10 years that I have seen you. And uh, when I just went for the very, I call it simple is better. When I went to your class for um, the sound healing for chakras, the mantras and so on, something in my world, in my universe moved, mm -hmm. Sharon, that you, your, your gifts, you know, wow, it just transformed my life. And that's when I start buying a Tibetan bowl. I start buying, um, what is it called? I have it here too. Oh, you know, the and drum. I, mm -hmm. yes, the drumming. And, uh, and when you were singing the, the beautiful, uh, vowels in, 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 uh, to all the chakras, 
it, I related more to that and it really, I'm gonna say it was like a lightning bolt in, in, my, in my system, in my body. And, uh, and so since then I was like, wow, you know, sound. And, re and I related that to my grandmother wow. with her voice, right? With the, with, uh, with the opera singing that she, you know, that she used to do. Uh, and then you, right? With the sound healing, um, with the vowels, with the chakras. And, and I keep saying, you know, like I'm busy, I'm busy, I'm busy. And anyone who's listening to this, please, I'm begging you, do not do what I did. You know, do the math, 2006, 2016, that's 10 years, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. So, wow, I waited, well, 16 years, I started with you anyways, last year with the sound um, classes that you teach. And I recommend it to anyone, anyone, because it's, wow, it's just amazing. Words are not enough, you know, it's just the energy, that vibration that you perceive from me that it's, I can swear hands down and it works. I don't want to say it works fast and works slow. It's just the body does its own thing too. Mm -hmm. And it's just beautiful. Um, and I'm so grateful that I joined your class. I've been honestly beating myself up because I said, oh, I should have started years ago, right? Instead of now. And my daughter said to me, mom, you said to go with the flow. And if this is the time, this is the time. Because sometimes I get very impatient too. <laughs> I so agree with this, Araceli. And thank you so much for sharing that. Because I remember when you came to that class so many years ago. And it was before I had even created the name of Sound Wellness. I was doing other things. And and uh, and the uh, starting to introduce sound into the community. And how perfectly that that seed was planted. And I really believe in divine timing, Araceli. So the time that seed sprouted when it was time for you to come back and to bring the, all of that experience of all the modalities and all of the things you've done and all of this incredible life adventure you've been on for the last 15 years, all of that to bring into your practice and to be able to so support people because I really believe we, we people are going to need more and more support and the holistic practitioners have a complementary practice that can support people in so, so, so many ways. Yeah, and you know what I also love that, the way you and Ed, your husband set this up is everything is just, I know there's people like, oh, perfect doesn't exist. I'm saying this to you, like the way you guys have is step by step by step by step. And my gosh, Ed is so good at technology. Amazing. Um, he have helped me with technology and everything, but it's just beautiful because I know that you guys also uh, register with the association here in Canada, in Alberta. And that is awesome. Once I finish my exam and everything, I'm looking forward to register myself. Um, and then, of course, people can claim that for their insurance benefits. So it's just beautiful how everything is going, you know, the cycle of life, I call it, right? When you were not, you didn't have this wellness, sound wellness. And then here I am, you know, jiggling with my life. And now here we are. It's just beautiful. Here we are. Mm -hmm. I agree. So very, very beautiful. And uh, thank you for mentioning that piece about the yeah. registration with with the, the Natural Health Practitioners of Canada yes. Association yes. is yeah. the first professional practitioner yeah. association to yeah. formally accept sound wellness training. And this yeah. gives sound wellness practitioners incredible credibility and confidence that it's yes. been accepted on a national level. So I am, that's just one thing that was missing when I felt when I did my own training many years ago. And, and I'm, I'm so grateful that uh, our, our business has evolved to be able to offer that kind of support 
to our practitioners if they choose to do that. And uh, it just doesn't exist anywhere else. So wow. I'm I'm just so excited about that. Um, yeah. I would love to hear more uh, about when someone comes to see you or any other stories too. When someone okay. comes to see you, you have you you say you had a spa and has that? Do you still have the spa or has that evolved into a yoga yoga practice? I know you teach yoga and bring yeah. so many other things into that. Yes. Well, um, I had the spa, it was called Holistic Center and Spa, which we did a lot of uh, also massage for, w, uh, what is it called, WCB claims, car accident, you know, it was just somebody wanted to, to get some type, you know, of therapeutic massage. Um, and then in that spa, I had, you know, like hair and a little bit of hair uh, service there and nails, because I'm a nail tech, so facials. And I was all about the healing. Uh, not so much about the looks from the outside. And I remember one lady impacted my life. She was about, I'm going to say like 280 some pound. And she came to see me and she said, I came to see you. She says, I never had a pedicure and my feet needs you. And I don't like people judging me, she says, because I'm fat. That's the exact word she said. Wow. And so I, you know, I got her ready, you know, welcome her and all of that. In, in, you know, in the chair and I, you know, like what color would you like of nail polish? And I explained to her step by step, just like what you guys do for us practitioners. I explained her step by step uh, what my pedicure includes, which also include reflexology. And I said to her, I can look at your body and you can look at my body. I said, our body is our body, but I go from the inside out. And I made her feel so comfortable. And wow, when I did her, her pedicure and everything, I remember when it came to the nail polish at the end, right? I do the nail polish after the reflexology so the nail polish can stay on the toes. Um, she said to me, you're beautiful, she said. I don't want nail polish, it doesn't look good on me. I'm fat, I'm not, again, she said that. And I just said to her, what if I go, my store was across Chinook Mall here in Calgary. And I said, what if I go, I said, across Chinook Mall crossing the street, I get hit with a car. My mind, you know, everything mental, everything is intact, but I don't know, I miss a hand or a leg or something, right? And I said to her, I would still pick nail polish. Honestly, I would though, because I love nails. So I was just <laughs> approaching her and she impacted my life, not just her, but other cancer patients because cancer customers, uh, even children, children hospital, they were coming to the spa so I can work with them. And then I realized, and excuse my, my language, you guys, and, and sharing, I said, screw the nails. It's, you know, like, just forget it about hair. Like, I love hair, I love nails, but it's like, that's, that's not my calling. So my calling is the wellness, the holistic and not the outside, like the nails. So I, you know, so anyways, with this thing that happened in 2008, 2007, 2008, the market, you know, crash, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. I closed my business. Then I went into mobile. And then who I attracted the most? Seniors, people at the hospital, pregnant women, um, cancer patients. And of course, some people that could not go out because, you know, disability reason. So the universe aligned me with that type of, um, of people, you know, that require my service. So I started, you know, doing that and it was getting too much and I'm like okay then I open my business at home um, so I've been keeping it at home and now that we moved uh, 15 minutes south of Calgary we bought this beautiful acre acreage here our home and there is a 3,500 square feet shop which we're moving our business into the shop so it's in the middle right now we got cement we got utilities done we just need more framing and get it our goal is to get it done within the next three four months and you know, teach uh, yoga and do treatments and also you know, do workshop like an example, if you require a space, people can come here, you know, we got chickens, we got beautiful garden, like to connect with nature, you know? So that's where we are now. I'm working from home and I do very little mobile due to the pandemic too. So all my services are online. 
Mm. And uh, how beautiful that you're creating a facility at home that will be able to when we can go back together again. So you can bring people into this beautiful space, Araceli. Mm -hmm. And for all of the things that you do and offer, it's it. And when I when I think about healing, I think about wholeness and with what you are what you are bringing to your clients it feels very much to me like wholeness with all of the different things. So tell me a little more specifically, when, if someone calls you and says, I've got this issue, well, how can, can you help me? So how would you bring them into your community and your services? What kinds of things might you be able to, to offer to support people? Okay. Well, it varies, right? And, um, yes. And for those practitioners that are watching us right now, everybody have their own way, you know, their own style. So I'll share my style uh, respectfully. So if somebody call me, I'll give you an example. I have people in Europe, uh, North America, South America. So I speak Spanish and English. So if somebody call me, I'm gonna speak a specific person who is uh, in Germany. This is a gentleman, a guy, who called me that somebody in the United States refer him to contact me. So I talked to him um, in a way of, hmm, how can I explain? Okay, so he called me and he said, you know, so-and-so highly recommended you and she said, you can help me out. And I said, well, I'll do my very best. I said, what's going on? So I let him to speak to me. What is his, um, I don't want, his concern. And I don't like to say his problem or his issue because when I use those words, words are powerful. So if I say, what's your concern? What's, you know, like, what's your issue? What's your problem? I'm actually drowning that client already instead of helping. So I'm very conscious of the words that I use. And so he's explained to me about, uh, you know, losing weight and, and all, you know, relationship and family stuff, you know, tension since he was young and abuse and all of that. So when he's saying that to me, I'm already going into, um, I'm already scanning him. And and remember I said to you since age four, I could foresee things and I could read people's energy. So when he's talking to me, I'm already doing that. I'm very attentive. So I'm hearing his voice and I'm also hearing the frequency of his vibration of his body. Mm -hmm. right? And so I listen and then I say, okay, here is my website, right? All my links. I usually send all my links, right? And I said, uh, if you have any question, let me know. I said, and this is what I heard from you. And I recommend before they hang up, I recommend this session or that session, or we start here and then we go, you know, step two, step three, step four. And I know that, you know, this person and a lot of them say, I don't want to, you know, go one and then two, three, four. I want to go straight to four. I yeah. said, right? <laughs> Impatient like me. Happen that way. <laughs> so I just, I said, okay, you know, and then I usually ask the body what the body's telling me. I said, okay, your body says to start with number three and then go to number one, you know? So it's, it keeps, the energy keep changing, right? And I say, I do my part, you do your part. I say, so you're not in front of me. You're not behind me. I'm not in front of you. I'm not behind you were like this, right? Because mm -hmm. we do require a team to assist, you know, to guide with that situation that person is going through. So I do send referrals to other people too. And um, and for some of those practitioners, it's just interesting because I experienced a, an interesting um, scenario. You know, I refer people, people refer me and all of that, that's great. And so for referrals, I give 20% off to the person who is coming to see me and the person who referred me, right? So I give 20% there. Of, and then there's a person that said to me, um, you know, like I'm competing with you. And I was like, I'm not into that vibration. Yeah. You know, like there is no competition here. To me, it's like the more we are here, you know, this uniqueness, the gift that we each have, the better we can assist. And um, so I, I make sure that I, I don't, because uh, to me, that's a, 
a big no-no for me. Yeah, I and how beautiful that you share with the 20%. That's such a great idea, Araceli, yeah. and also builds your own community of of practitioners that that have different kinds of gifts. Like you said, we all have unique gifts. And sometimes uh, a person might need this for a session or two or this for a session or two that mm -hmm. to really support that wholeness that we're all looking for well i shouldn't say we're looking for wholeness that we are we just forget <laughs> that we are whole yes mm. yeah. we are yeah and that's how when the person calls me i don't even look at their like their body shape or anything. I looked at the situation, the energy, and it's beautiful when people said they lost weight. Oh, okay, cool. <laughs> the testimonials are different, right? Just like, okay, the body does its own thing because the body is such a beautiful, I call it divine machine. You know, we must care for it, you know? So I love using the forks. Um, and I don't have it here with me. I have it in my other office. The, what is it called? The, I bought one from you. Oh, the song uh, pod? Song, oh, I love this it. One. I love it. Yes, I love it. Love it. I, I keep that easy even in my, in my purse. Like yesterday, I went to do a house clearing, property clearing. <laughs> it was, it, I could see it. And actually, that, that one, that, the song pod, mm -hmm. When I do that, my experience, I'm not sure about those who have this, I experience fairies coming into the space. I was like, oh, that is so cool. You know, so anyways, I can go on forever. <laughs> That is that is beautiful. I, I would yeah. love to hear a little more about how you integrate sound into what you do. What what a beautiful explanation of of someone who comes to you and how you introduce them and bring them into your practice. How are you finding sound supports your practice? You know, it's very gentle, very gentle. And it's uh, what's the word efficiency, more effective. Mm -hmm. um, I can, I always like to give example, you know, that's me though. So I had a client who, um, going through divorce, really, really ugly divorce. And, and then, you know, the lawyers are, she spent like over a quarter million dollars over in this divorce. It was horrible. And she says, now she says, you know, she's stressed out. I already have a court this date. And it was like a year, you know, for the court date. And then she was actually my my uh, my model my for for my assignment you know for the study case that you gave me on the on the first level right mm -hmm. and uh, you know what within ninety days that court date changed and everything is solved and the judge you know that she's been seeing you know the mediator and blah blah all of that it was like more sounds like more a favor to the ex husband. Right. And she was getting upset because it's a lie and all of that. And when I did the sound healing, she was my, you know, my study case person. She's this is what she said to me. Fuck your Rosalie. That shit works. That's exactly <laughs> what she said. I was like, you mean sound healing, sound therapy, you know? How and fascinating. Like, and you use the tuning forks with her? I did that actually, that tuning fork, and I also see. This is where we cannot get stuck. Uh, oh, mm -hmm. I have the ohm, I have the 432, I have the, you know, the harmony. It's the energy, the body that is like, okay, which one? Even if I don't know if it's 432 or whatever, even if I don't know it, it's just the energy just tell me, pick that one. So I just picked that one and oh. I worked with that. And she was so grateful. So within 90 days, her case was completely finished. Now she's collecting money from her partner and you know lies that shows up the truth always you know so it was harmonious it was beautiful so that's how I I just listened to right and we're all aware so if we let the mind to say I don't know how to do this like my excuse truthfully my excuse was I never take music and and Sharon this is what I said this is what I see behind your back ah I <laughs> And she's teaching this, blah, blah, right? 
And, uh, and I said to myself, okay. And my daughter said, mom, remember you, you taught me, she says piano, you know, uh, what is it called? C, D, E, F, G, sharp, mm -hmm. flat. And I was like, yeah, that's all I learned, like self-taught, right? Because I bought this book of Richard Clayderman and I bought myself a keyboard. So this is back in late 80s. Oh, that's so cool. <laughs> and, then, and then here you are coming to me and I was like, I'm kind of, and I said, no, I am aware. I am aware. I'm a, what is the first language? Energy. Uh -huh. Not English, no Spanish. It's like, it's energy. So I'm like, nope, I'm just going to follow that. So I just follow my intuition. I follow my intuition, right? The awareness. So I beg you guys not to get stuck on the analytical, like myself, <laughs> you know? Yeah, that I can't take it. It's like, yes, you can. You know, my other excuse is English, my second language. I don't know how to do this. Wow. Talk about where the queens and kings of excuses. <laughs> Yeah. And I'm <laughs> yeah, we all have those queens and kings of excuses. I love that, Araceli. Yeah. And thank you for mentioning this, because one of the things we do try to do with our courses is is to have a mixture of things. And, and I so completely agree with you that our first language is energy. And mm -hmm. the sound is energy that shifts matter. Uh, and so we try to bring, uh, of course, the cerebral things in. Not everyone, some people need that. Not everyone needs that. You are born into that world of energy. So you have a grounding in that first language and you just use the sound tools that are appropriate. What a shift, three months, That that is amazing. Uh, what incredible results and support for your client. How beautiful. So just follow that energy, you know, and not that doubt always going to be there because it's almost like we're speaking to two people. Yes, yeah. no, it's no, I'm like, oh, I'm not doing this right. Or it's just, we just have to throw that out. Yeah. So one of our goals, if it's okay with you, I want to share. Mm -hmm. um, everybody has, I call it target, you know, have a target to to have. And it's nice to have that in our life, not just personal, but also business wise. My family here, there is six of us, four kids, my spouse and I, and we have our, we have four businesses together as a family and we're excited to move our business into the shop. And so what I'm going at is if anybody as a practitioner here that, you know, they're teaching classes or they want to increase their class, you know, their participants, or they want to increase the clients, uh, maybe sometime you know, through this interview, we can do another one or, you know, whatever, like to do like pulling energy um, into your business. Um, I, you know, you kind of, well, myself, I kind of do, I do it and then I see result and then I kind of, I slack after and then I go back, oh, you know, that kind of thing. Uh -huh, and so uh -huh. it's nice to have that reminder, you know, and everybody does their own way how to manifest, like how to actualize that. And I say, how is none of my business? That's the universe uh, role, right? Yes. I just ask, know it. Yeah. So anyways. Beautiful, beautiful. Um, and can you tell us where you're located so that you can, you, if pe people, well, you're also online, but when you start doing in-person things or if someone okay. comes, wants to come to your yoga class. Absolutely. Um, we are, again, 15 minutes south of Calgary, between Okotox and Calgary. You know where Saskatoon Farm? We're oh, two yes. Minutes, yeah. We're two minutes away from Saskatoon Farm. Um, and then the yoga, we have, uh, an, I have one right here, actually. Uh, this is my clinic room in my studio. We have one here. Uh, we, my daughter who teaches, um, it's called Ariel Yoga. Have you heard that? No, I haven't Ariel heard that. Yoga. I'm going to move you. Uh, let me see. See if I can shift my. Uh, ah, there it is. You see it? Ah, yeah. Yeah. So that is a, a hammock where my daughter goes there <laughs> and, uh, and she teaches uh, yoga online, Ariel. But we have the shop and the shop already getting the, I don't know, those big hooks to uh -huh. put the hammock so people can do that. Um, and we order a teepee that we're gonna have outside in the land. Uh, 
Oh, how and we, fun. we have a beautiful, just before the snow came in uh, uh, December, we got a guy to come here to do a pond for us, you know, and get like a, the payment and all of the construction stuff. So we want to make it really oasis and very grounding. And I have put crystals around the, when we move here, we have, you know, places that I put some crystals and all of that. So it's a healing center. As soon as the person drive through our gate, uh, it's, yeah, it's the energy starting to heal. I want to show you something too. I don't know. What do you call that? Is it nutchuck? We have a nutchuck over 10 feet tall. Oh like my. Outside. I'm going to give this tip to you guys. Um, see if I can. Uh, it's a beautiful, so you can see. I don't know how to do the, the camera to turn it over. Oh, shoot. Ah, see, there you go. We need Ed. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, I'm not sure if you can see. Can you see oh, that? Oh, yes, I can see it through the window, yeah. Araceli. Yeah. It's huge. It's humongous. So we have this since uh, when we got this this space. Um, I wanted to, you know, because on my that side, we have a lot of shamanic. And my great-grandfather did a lot of shamanic uh, healing. Mm -hmm. You know, the grandparents were not, well, my dad's side, she was, they were not into that. Um, but you can tell that it's in our roots and doesn't matter if a parent or a grandparent doesn't want you to grow into that. The universe always aligns you. Yes, you know? I agree. Yeah. I agree. Yeah. Oh, um, how beautiful. Um, you said that you can do a special meditation for us today. Um, yes. Do you feel that now would be a good time to share that meditation? Uh, yeah, we can. Absolutely. So awesome. what I recommend is um, to just scan your body and see where you have pain or discomfort or even tightness. And the second thing, I ask that you bringing into your mind your goals, your target for this year, even for the next 90 days. So bring your goals, your dreams into this moment right now and stay connected to my voice. So if your mind goes wandering, come back to my voice and come back to your goals and come back to your breath. And just focus on your breath, deep inhale and long exhale. You can even mo move your shoulders, bring your shoulders up and just, you know, touch your ears with your shoulders Inhale and the exhale, release all of that weight you're carrying in your shoulders. Inhale again, shoulders go up, touch your ears with your shoulders and exhale again and release all of that weight, that worriness, stress, tension. And just honor yourself for this few minutes. Close the door of the outside world and go within and invite inside of you your goals, your target. What would you like to actualize, manifest this year or in the next 90 days? It's just you and your goals and your breath and my voice. That's all that matters right now. I speak to your cells, your organs, to receive your goals. And to acknowledge your goals. I speak to your shoulders that all the weight you're carrying of yourself and the weight you're carrying for other people. 
perhaps you're carrying some energies of your clients, some body ache of your clients, you're carrying it, your body's carrying it. So let's free your body. Free your body from other people's energies, patterns, aches, suffering, stress. Connect your breath with your infinite being, with your body and your mind. Stay focused on your breath. And I ask that you give your name right now. So I give my name and I say, my name is Araceli Guerrero. I am here now. So inhale and say your name. I am filling the blank. The next step, I choose filling the blank. Filling the blank, your goals for this year. I choose, I truly desire filling the blank. And now we ask your guides to take note of your request, what you have chosen. And we call in the spirit of four directions to enter to this sacred space right now and to guide us this year, guide us in our personal life, business, and how many people can we contribute to them through our own gifts? How many people are searching for healers like us? Inhale and exhale. And now I'm going to invite you, keep your eyes closed, invite you to pull energy. Energy from your home, from your office, from the city, the town. Start pulling energy into your body into your goals, pull energy through every cell, every organ of your body, pull energy, pull energy from the universe, every corner of the universe, pull that nurturing energy into your goals, pull, 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 pull every corner of the universe, pull that energy of nurturing, it's nurturing your body, it's nurturing your business. It's nurturing your soul. It's nurturing your life. Keep pulling the energy. Keep pulling it into your goals, into your body. pulling the energy, bring it into the heart and fill up your heart with the energy, that nurturing energy of the universe that is nurturing your business, your body, your life, your soul. Bring the energy into your heart. And now, when you feel your heart full, send that 
to your brain. And send that to your third eye. And from your third eye, shoot a message to the whole world, to your city, your town, your country. Spread that message across the world, Europe, North America, South America, Asia, and send this message saying, come and find me. Even if you don't know it yet, come and find me. I am here now. How can I serve you? What contribution can me and my business be to you and to your life? And now keep pulling the energy again. Now pull energy from the universe. Pull energy from Europe, North America, South America, Central America, Asia, all around the world. Keep pulling the energy across the world from the universe back into your heart, back into your brain on your third eye and shoot the message from your third eye back to the world. Come and find me, come and find my business. I am here now. We are ready to serve you. And inhale. Now this time I would like you to inhale all those people around the world. Inhale into your reality into your business reality. Take a deep inhale again and inhale everyone around the world that require your services, your gifts. And inhale again, inhale those people that they are aligned to your goals. They're aligned to your dreams. And you're just creating the path for them. And the universe will align you with them. And be open to receive from all direction. So receive from north, east, west, south. Receive from above you and below you. Bring all that energy into the heart. And now start wiggling your toes, your fingers, And you can open your eyes and you can say, I am back now and give your full name. I am back now. I am back now, Sharon Karn. Yes. I am back. Wow, Araceli. What a perfect meditation for the beginning of the year. Oh my goodness, for any time, but especially right now. Thank you so much. Thank you. I want to let everyone know if you check the post, the the post above or below this video, Araceli's website is there, her Facebook page and her her Instagram link is there too. Is there any other way you would like people to contact you, Araceli? I can give my phone number. They can know best is to text me though. I also have WhatsApp. Um, it's 403-617-1001. Easy. 
1-800-222-1001. And I have a Facebook um, private group. It's called Nurture Your Inner Warrior. Ah. Yeah. Yeah. And what I'm doing there, uh, Sharon, it's... Um, I keep it private, you know, it's very sacred. Um, I'm actually interviewing people who have gifts also, who have a business. And so I'm interviewing so other people know what they're doing. This is why I said to you, competition doesn't work for me. I like collaborating everybody, you know, mm -hmm. it's beautiful because especially this time, you know, it's the wholeness and be together, unity, mm -hmm. yoga. I agree. And thank you. So um, nurturing your inner warrior, inner warrior. So you can find that on Facebook and ask to join the group. Yes. Okay. Yes. Awesome. Yeah. So thank you for inviting me. And uh, I'm beyond grateful that I can be a contribution to, you know, all the practitioners and, you know, we just keep growing, keep growing, keep growing. <laughs> <laughs> I so yeah. agree, Araceli. Yeah. Thank you so much for being here today and for sharing your beautiful gifts and such a wonderful mm -hmm. meditation. Uh, we'll mm -hmm. say goodbye now to everyone who has joined us live and who is, will be joining the recording. Thank you for, for um, being here with us. And I highly, highly recommend that you connect with Araceli. Join her group and really become a part of this beautiful community. So thanks. And, oh, yes, Araceli. I want to say, and also join yours too, because that is amazing what you and Ed created, you know, for all of us. Mm. You know? so thank it's, you. It's, it's, thank you for sharing your magic with me. Thank yeah. you. Okay. <laughs>